Hey guys, here is Mercedes S-Class. Today, we're going to see how to remove the central locking vacuum pump. That's very quick and easy. So, let's go! Hi everybody, we're going to remove the central locking vacuum pump from this 2000 Mercedes S-Class. This pump is also called PSE pump. PSE stands for Pneumatic System Equipment. As a reminder, this pump operates the trunk opening, the trunk soft close, the trunk remote release, the central locking and central unlocking, the door soft close and the lumbar support. The vacuum pump is located inside the trunk. Unfortunately, if your vacuum pump doesn't work and the 20 amp pump fuse in the car blows immediately each time you change it, you will not be able to open the trunk normally. As you can see, nothing happens when I operate the handle and the trunk remains inexorably closed. In this case, pull out the metal key of your key fob. Insert the metal key into the trunk lock cylinder. Turn it to the left then you can open the trunk. Next step, pull out the carpet. Now we are going to remove the left carpet panel. To do this, we need to remove three screws. One there, one there and one there. First one, it's a plastic screw with a pin in it. So first, remove the pin. You can use a fork to do that, it's very helpful. Then remove the plastic screw. Here is the plastic screw with the pin. And you do the same for the second one. So first remove the pin. And then remove the plastic screw. Then we are going to use a Torx screwdriver to remove the third screw. So, using the screwdriver, unscrew the Torx screw. And that's it. Next, we are going to remove this panel. To do so, with your right hand you've got to push that way and with your left hand you've got to lift the panel. And you do that here and there. And that's it. As you can see, there are two plastic hooks holding the panel. Next, we are going to remove the rear part of the left carpet panel. That's very easy. However, remove the carpet panel very gently and be careful not to break the plastic trim. It's fragile. Now, you can remove the entire panel. The panel may be glued. In this case, you will have to pull a little hard on it or put a flat plastic tool behind it to remove it more easily. And voila! The vacuum pump is inside this foam cube. To access the vacuum pump, we need to remove this foam lid. As you can see, there are two plastic flaps, one at the top and one at the bottom. You just have to action at the flaps to remove the foam lid. This is our pump. And now you just have to remove the pump from its foam casing. And that's it. Then disconnect the two wiring plugs at the back. This is the first one.
and they see the second one. There is a lug holding the plug, and so it's necessary to use a screwdriver to remove this plug. Now we are going to label each grey connector. To do so, put a piece of color the tape on the connector and a piece of the same color tape on the box. That's very important because originally there is no marking on the pipes and if you mix the pipes by mistake you will be lost. And you do the same for the other side with a different color. It will be very useful when reassembling. Next, disconnect the two grey connectors. To do so, we just have to pry a plastic tab located in each rectangular hole. There is no need to disconnect each pipe, only the grey connector. I will show you the plastic tab right after. You need two screwdrivers, one to lift the grey connector and the other, the red one, to pry the plastic tab. There we go! Here are the two plastic tabs. And you've got to pry this one that way, and this one that way. Then you do the same for the second grey connector. Be careful not to break it. It's fragile. And voila! We have removed the central locking vacuum pump. You can see the two plastic tabs right there. And you've got to pry this one that way. And this one that way. Thanks guys for watching. And if the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye bye.